fourth Welch of Florence in the Machine Best New Artist nomination, and you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. What is this? Um, this is Givenchy Haute Couture. Very nice. And have you had a crazy ride this weekend? Yeah, I mean, actually, do you know what? We've been really mellow. We've like we've pretty much stayed in every night. But I think I was just so looking forward to today and also really nervous. So trying to conserve my energy. The, the Dog Days Are Over is such an infectious track. It's one of my favorite songs of the year. What inspired it? How were you feeling during the recording and the writing process? Sure, it's a funny story, but it was inspired by an art installation that was displayed on the side of the South Bank Centre in London, and it was a big bubble rainbow sign that said, the dog days are over. And I used to see it as I was riding my bicycle over the bridge, and sometimes it would just be that amazing moment where the sun would be setting, I'd be listening to music, which is very dangerous, <laughs> on right. a bicycle. And I, yeah, I tweet and no while helmet. I drive, so it's not yeah, that bad. And, um, <laughs> And, uh, and you know the music would reach a climax and the sun would be setting and I'd see this big sign and it was kind of that feeling, you know, like that rush you get and I wanted to create a song that kind of in, in, encapsulated that. In now, what does it mean to you? Be, be, because the song gives me so much energy and like It gives you goosebumps almost. Yeah. What does it mean to you? Uh, just sort of that, that feeling of release, I guess, yeah. of freedom and riding a bike with your eyes closed. <laughs> no, I know you... Done that. <laughs> don't, don't. It's very dangerous. It's very You're very obviously dangerous. getting bigger and you get more opportunity to work in studios, but I hear you still like working from home, yeah. right? Yeah, well, we work... I work... I'm still working with Isabella, mm -hmm. who I wrote Dog Days with in her little, like, shed studio. And it's really nice, you know, we've collected loads of... There's an antiques store next right next door so it's perfect for me oh you, you go and you come back with like we've got this big picture of snow white and like a china dog and we buy all these like dresses and hang them up and then we make music using you know teacups i never <laughs> thought how useful it would be to live next door to an antique store but so apparently useful, creatively it's huge yeah That's finally awesome. florence you want it for all the youtubers out there uh, you know how important has social media and youtube been for you and connecting with your audience well, I think, especially for me, I think the live shows are so important. Uh, they, they kind of, from watching the live show, you can kind of see what the album, the album makes more sense. And through, you know, through YouTube and stuff, people get to watch the live performances, you know, wherever they are. So that's it's helped me. In yeah. Well, We're being told that a million yes, people want to grab you, know. you so you have a call with thank Aretha you so much. Franklin, I think. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so, so much for talking luck. with us. Best of luck tonight. Thank She's a so sweetheart. Much. So nice to see you again. Florence and the Machine. Oh, she is powerful. Yeah, man. You just feel a real artistic vibe coming from her. It makes me honestly feel inadequate about a lot of things in my life. There, there. I I'll think you right. need to go to an antique store. That would help. That'd be good.